low build maximum. Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid PO PSO MPPT for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for further notification about upcoming videos. So this is a configuration of hybrid PO PSO MPPT for solar PV system. So this hybrid PO PSO MPPT this can be used to power uh, extracting the maximum power during power field shedding condition under normal irradiation condition. So here you can see that this one uh, is a solar panel. There are three solar panel is connected in series to in order to implement that partial shedding effect. So each panel receive the irradiation. So we can change the irradiation here for in each panel in order to implement that uh, partial sharing effect. And then this panel is connected with boost converter. This boost converter is going to be controlled by means of hybrid PO PSO MBPT. So what's the need of uh, going for PO PSO MBPT? Uh, when you are going to implement uh, PO MBPT for uh, uh, partial shaded uh, solar PV system, so PO normally find it only uh, first uh, local maxima. After that, it never uh, find out the global maximum power point. So this is a problem in the PO MBPT algorithm. And uh, what's the problem in the PSO MPPT algorithm? That means uh, PSO is a particles from optimization. Uh, that means it's normally based upon population based. That means we are giving a, a random population in order to get the global uh, solution, right? If that number of population very high means uh, uh, the that process of uh, finding that global point is take more time. So it is a problem in the PSO. So in order to overcome this problem, so we can combine that uh, PO and PSO here. That means when combining and PO PSO, so it will be solve the problem of uh, PO MBPT as well as PSO MBPT. That means it can uh, find the global maximum point with the uh, uh, quickly. Okay. So for that purpose only. Here we go for hybrid PO PSO MPPT. So the here PO PSO MPPT receive two inputs. So one is, is uh, PV panel voltage. So another one is PV panel current. Okay. So based upon this PV panel and the PV panel voltage and current, so it going to be generated to be cycle. So this new to cycle going to be processed via uh, pedal generator. So this speed will generate, generate the pulse for that uh, IGBT of that MOSFET. Okay. So sorry, uh, pulse for that IGBT in the boost converter. Okay. So it going to be control the power flow in the boost converter, not to extract the maximum power under partial shading condition as well as normal irradiation condition. Okay. So this model can be operated in three mode. That means. Uh, one is hybrid PO and PSO MPPT mode and uh, PSO MPPT mode and PO mode. So for that here we are providing that uh, selection uh, block nothing but constant block. When you are going to type 0 here, so it will be operated at a hybrid PO PSO MPPT. When you are to type PS uh, that means type uh, 1 here, then it will going to be operated at a PSO MPPT. And when you are to type 2 here, so it will be operated PO MPPT algorithm. Okay. So what's the block inside that hybrid PO PSO MPPT? So we'll see next. So this is the block inside that uh, hybrid PO PSO MPPT. So this is uh, 
PH2O MPPT algorithm for maximum power point tracking algorithm. So this is PO MPPT algorithm for maximum tracking maximum power point tracking algorithm. So here we are going to combine both PO and PSO, right? So here we are providing uh, two switch uh, selection switch. So it going to be select the configuration that mean uh, whether you want to operate this uh, solar PV system with uh, uh, hybrid PO PSO MPPT or uh, PO MPPT or uh, PSO MPPT. So according with the selection logic, so it will be operated. Okay. So it received two input already is set right to voltage and uh, current of the PV panel. So based upon that, it will be generated the duty cycle. Okay. In order to control the IGPT of the bus converter, in order to extract the maximum power or in order to extract the uh, move that uh, PV panel maximum power at the global point. Okay. So this is a block inside that. Uh, MBPT. Okay. So next we go go to simulation part. So this is a simulation we have created for that uh, hybrid PO PS MBPT. So first I'm going to go inside the PV panel. Okay. So we should have three PV cells. Okay. So that means total 60 cells in the PV system, solar PV system, that mean the first one is for 1 to 20 and then next one is for 21 to 40 cells and third one is 41 to 60 cells. So total rating of the system will be 250 watts. Okay. So here, uh, here we are we are maintaining temperature 25 degree Celsius and then uh, here we can change the radiation or to create that uh, partial shading effect. And here we are going to measure that uh, current of the PV panel and the voltage of the PV panel. So this uh, current and voltage of the PV panel is given to that uh, MPPT algorithm in order to generate the duty cycle for that boost converter to extract the maximum power point at the global. Okay. So this is inside the solar PV system. So next already we, uh, I told right that main uh, uh, what's the block inside the hybrid P1 PSO so it contain a PSO MBPT algorithm and PO MBPT algorithm so here we are going to combine both in order to achieve the um, quick response as well as uh, meet the global point quickly uh, and also you can select the PSO and P1 hybrid uh, option by using this select a switch okay so these are the block inside that uh, inside in the hybrid PO and PSO MPPT and this is nothing but boost converter so boost converter is operated along with that MPPT to not to extract the uh, maximum power okay and also you can see that uh, there are three scope right so this is for a uh, power uh, to measure the PV panel power as well as output of that uh, that mean load power and then uh, so this scope going to be used to for uh, measure the PV panel voltage and uh, load voltage and then uh, this scope is to for uh, measure the PV current and uh, load current okay so first initially i am going to make uh, the irradiation for all panel equal to 1000 watts per meter square next you have to check the condition here i, I am making a selection of mbbt is zero okay and then we have to check the result of power i am going to simulate this one Yeah, you can see here, so it reaches to maximum power point. Okay, you can see that it reaches to maximum power point condition. That means when the irradiation 1000 watts per meter square in the on all cells, right? That means it uh, about 250 watts. Okay, it reaches, it reaches to uh, maximum point. Okay, 
so next i'm going to change the selection equal to one okay after that i'm going to simulate this same system we will get some difference now we can see that when uh, systems operate in hybrid POPSO, it will be reached quickly, right? So it's like that you will get, okay? But when you have to operate the system with the POSO, it will take some time to reach the maximum point. So, so there's a difference between hybrid PO and PO. So next time you have to operate the same system with the PO. Now we can see the response of PYBBT. So it will take also take some time to reach the maximum point under normal irradiation condition. That means thousand watts per meter square. So here you can see that it will reach uh, around the uh, the maximum point maximum point at uh, 1.3 second right uh, when we have to operate this system with the pso we'll check the tracking time yeah it will take uh, 1.2 second to reach Okay, so when I am going to operate the same system with the hybrid POPSO, It will reach at the point eight seconds, right? So when comparing uh, hybrid PO PSO and with the PSO PO, so it will track uh, maximum point quickly when compared to PO and PSO. Okay, so the uh, advantages of uh, hybrid PO and PSO MPPT. So next you have to check the same response for a partial sharing condition. So for that I am going to make uh, irradiation for the second cell equal to 600 and then uh, for uh, that will be 300. Okay. So in this case uh, the maximum point is around uh, 113 watts. Okay. So we will check the same logic uh, one by one. So first I am going to use uh, PO MPPT and then simulate the model note after simulating this model we'll, we need to note the tracking time we keep on uh, extracting the maximum power that means tracking the maximum power point okay so here you can see that uh, it will be settled at uh, like 1.3 seconds okay so next i'm going to change that uh, mbpt to pso so we will check the tracking time for the global point Yeah, it will reach around uh, 1.1 second, right? You also will be extract the maximum power to 1.1 seconds, and also it will take some you know, take the time to track the global point. So next time I'm going to change to hybrid PO PSO MPPT. Next you have to check the tracking time. Yeah, 
so it will drag at the point eight second right at the maximum point so when compared to hybrid uh, hybrid pvo pso uh, can track the global maximum point quickly than pso and the pymbpt so this is uh, advantages of this hybrid pvo and pso mbpt so thank you for watching our videos and also this model can be uh, downloaded uh, in the official website of lms solution so this is the official website of lms solution okay you can go, go to this website and then if you want to download this model you go to download matlab file and then click this one hybrid p o p s and bpt okay so in this website you can download this model so thank you for watching uh, videos and also subscribe our uh, channel okay thank you thank you so much hi viewers welcome to lms solution today we are going to see about hybrid pen and po mbpt algorithm for solar pv system thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos so this is a sibling model created for testing hybrid nnpo mbpt algorithm for solar pv system so this is system consists of pv panel the pv panel rating is 250 watts and then open circuit voltage is 37.3 volt and voltage at maximum power point is 30.7 short circuit current is 8.6 amps and then uh, current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps so here you can see that IV PV 36 of uh, the consider PV panel for uh, 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power is around 250 watts for 800 it's around 199.9 for 600 is 149.6 for 400 is 98.9 so okay so these are the peak power of the pv panel during different irradiation condition okay so here we are connect the load so these are the load right this load when we connected to the pv panel via boost converter okay the boost converter is connected in between p panel and the load and here we are using that hybrid in an um, POMBPT the, the concept of neural network algorithm already we explained uh, in early video so you can check my youtube channel for more information about neural network MBPT and also I explained about P, P and MBPT also so just you watch our videos in my youtube channel okay so now we are going to implement that hybrid nnpu mbpt so here you can see that so this is the neural network mbpt that means the neural network when you model as a solar pv system okay so based upon uh, irradiation and temperature the neural network will provide the maximum power point voltage okay so that when we compared with the PV voltage and process via PA, PAD controller, so it when we generate the duty cycle. And same way here we are using P and MBPT. So P and MBPT receive two inputs. So one is voltage and current, right? So here you can see that it receive voltage and current. So based upon this voltage and current, that means uh, based upon the condition, the uh, change in voltage, change in power the duty cycle will be calculated so based upon this condition that means we are going to compare that means we are going to compare the change in power with the zero change in voltage with zero so based upon this condition we are going to increment the duty cycle or a decrement the duty cycle in order to obtain the maximum power from the PV panel okay so this is working of P and MVPD these are two control detail right so already I explained in the previous videos okay you can check that videos also now here i'm going to combine this uh, neural network and uh, pando here 
by using this addition okay the output of uh, the neural network can be to this cycle the output of p and uh, is also due to this cycle so i am going to adding this do to this cycle here and then i am going to take the average okay so here we are going to combine both neural network output and the p and output uh, to frame that hybrid option okay so and also here we have a different selection switch uh, so this is used to select the hybrid selection mode okay that means we are going to enable this one so that means uh, the switch position should be in the upper position right so this uh, switch position also should be in upper and then this switch uh, position also should be upper and then this output will be flow like this and then is given to the pseudo generator okay that means uh, the addition of uh, neural network MPP to duty cycle and P into MPP to uh, duty cycle going to be added together and, and then we take average. So that will be is given to the equilibrium generator. So based upon this duty cycle, it going to generate the pulse for the IGPT of the boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. Okay. And another one thing we are used to here that means selection switch, right? So here also we do some. Uh, a hybrid option so based upon the change in power condition right so here we are measuring the change in power here we are measuring the power so after that you have to calculate uh, uh, here we are calculating the, the change in power so the change in power when we combined with the 0 0.02 so this is a limit okay uh, the change in power limit if the change in power is greater than 0 0.02 then we have to allow the POMPPT algorithm okay the change in power is greater than 0 0.02 we are going to allow the POMBPT if suppose the change in power is not greater than 0 0.02 then we are going to allow the neural network MPPT okay. so this selection switch is going to be select the uh, duty cycle so based upon change in power okay. so the change in power is greater than 0 0.02 it is going to be allow the POMBPT if it is less than 0 0.02 it is going to be allow the Neural, neural network MPP. Okay, so if you want to select this hybrid option, this kind of hybrid option, so then we need to change this switch position to down, right? Then it going to be select the duty cycle value from here, and then it going to be allow by this, and it it going to be given to that pedal generator. So the pedal generator going to generate the pulse for the boost converter to extract the maximum power. So this is another option, hybrid option for a. Uh, hybrid and NPO. So next is if, if suppose you want to execute only uh, PO MPPT right then you can select this switch right. So just change the switch position to down right then it won't be allow on the PO MPPT okay. If suppose you want only NN uh, MPPT then you have to use this position right you change the switch position to down then it going to be allow on the neural network MVP. Okay. So this is a control logic is implemented here for hybrid NNPO MVP. So you can operate this model and hybrid option, hybrid NNPO MVP in the two method, right? So one method is already explained this mean You can use this concept or you can use this concept. So based upon the selection switch, okay. And also the same model can be operated in PO MVPT as well as neural network MVPT alone. Okay. So based upon the, the switch position of the, the manual switch. So now I'm going to operate the system. Okay. So here that means here I'm going to vary the irradiation for every 0.2 seconds. Uh, the irradiation will be vary from 1800, 600, 400 and 200 for every 0.2 second I am going to measure the power of the PV panel ok and also after after taking this power and then I am going to compare with the uh, PO method ok I am going to compare the result of this with the PO method and NN method ok so first I am going to operate the system with the, the hybrid NN PO MVPT concept So here you can see that for 
change in irradiation condition right uh, it effectively extract the maximum power from the pv panel okay so for 1000 is around 249 something for 800 is around 198 for 600 is around 148 for 400 is around 98 and 200 is around 48 okay so i am going to take this result okay so next i am going to operate the same model with the pobpt so i am going to change the switch position now i am going to operate the same model with the pobpt so here you can see the difference right so pobpt will take the time to reach the maximum point okay and also here you can see that it have some oscillation during change in irradiation condition for every change in irradiation condition of pv panel so here here you can see that so it have large variation during changing irradiation from 400 to 200 so now i am going to pin the figure and then change the color here now so i am going to change the color to pink color and then I am going to click copy and then I am going to paste here ok so next I am going to operate the model with the NNMPPT ok NNMPPT alone so here we have some oscillation during change in irradiation and it's a condition also then you can see that there is a tip in the power also here you can see that during low irradiation condition so there is lot of oscillation with the end and MPP. here i'm going to take print to figure and then i'm going to change the color of the graph I'm going to change to red color and then I copy this one. So here I'm going to paste the results. So now we are going to compare the results. So for during uh, that means uh, this is the comparison of uh, three MPPT. Okay. Uh, So here you can see that POMPPT will take a long time right to reach the maximum point but uh, the hybrid NN and uh, neural network will be reach the maximum point quickly but it will take some time to reach the maximum point okay. So next I am going to compare uh, here this portion right. So the th uh, three algorithm would have different uh, uh, MVPT point, right? So here you can see that the PO MVPT having oscillation in between 248 to 249. But hybrid NNPO it have around 248 watts, but normal neural network MVPT it have only 247. Okay but if you run the model for uh, several that mean uh, you have to increase the model time that means execution time for a particular irradiation so you can see the difference of uh, this power variation okay and also i'm going to compare the result with the change in irradiation condition so here you can see that So you can see that the PUMPPT having oscillation, large oscillation, large oscillation, but the hybrid, you can see the blue color is known as hybrid, but it not have a large oscillation, but it extract the maximum power from the PV panel with the constant variation. But you can see that this is normal N and MPPT, so it have only uh, less MPPT tracking point right when compared to 
hybrid n1 and p1 p2 so from that you can see that the oscillation will be avoid in the hybrid n and p1 p2 then p1 p2 okay and also you can check the transient time so the po having more transient uh, during change in irradiation irradiation condition from uh, 1000 watts to 800 watts per minute square right but the irradi that mean the, the transient behavior for the uh, n n and uh, hybrid n n is avoided in the system okay and also i am going to discuss this result in the low irradiation condition for example you consider uh, irradiation at 400 watts per minute square so i am going to expand these results so po having a transient high transient right when compared to hybrid n and po mbpt and also you can see the result of uh, uh, neural network it having more oscillation and also you can see the result of uh, p and o and uh, normal n so here here you can see that the hybrid right the hybrid n and po mbpt will provide um, Uh, highest maximum power point from the solar pv panel when compared to uh, po and uh, normal n and mbpt okay so this is working of this model uh, hybrid n and po mbpt for the solar pv system okay so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye Hi viewers, welcome to Alamo Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid fuzzy PO MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. So this is the model created for uh, testing the hybrid fuzzy PO MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. So this model consists of uh, 250 watts PV panel. the open circuit voltage of the panel is 37.3 volt and then voltage in maximum power point is 30.7 short circuit current is 8.6 amps the current at maximum power point is 8.15 amps so this is the pv and iv characteristics of the consider panel so for 1000 watts per meter square the maximum power is 250 watts For 800 is 199.9 watts. For 600 is 149.6 watts. For 400 is 98.97. For 200 is 48.37 watts. Okay. So this is a variation of peak power for different irradiation condition of the PV panel. Okay. So this point should be extracted from the PV panel by means of this hybrid fuzzy PV MBPT algorithm. So regarding the fuzzy MPPT and the PO MPPT algorithm, so already I explained in early video of my YouTube channel. So you can check my YouTube channel for a, a more detail about the fuzzy MPPT and the PO MPPT algorithm. So this system consists of boost converter. This boost converter is connected in between uh, a load, right? This is boost converter is connected in between PV panel and the uh, load. Okay. So this boost converter will be act as a, a modulator, power modulator to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So based upon this MPPT algorithm. Okay. So here you can uh, see that so this uh, uh, hybrid option we have created here. That means uh, here you can see that this is uh, fuzzy MPPT algorithm. The fuzzy MPPT algorithm receiving the the PV panel voltage. The PV panel voltage going to be compared with the the reference voltage right so this reference voltage we are going to maintain across the pv panel okay so after comparison of actual pv voltage with the reference voltage it going to be processed via fuzzy logic controller the fuzzy logic controller will be generate the duty cycle okay so here we have p and o mbpt the p and o mbpt receiving two inputs the pv panel voltage and current 
So based upon the PV panel voltage in current, we have to calculate change in voltage, change in power. So based upon change in power and change in voltage, that means it going to be compared with the zero. Okay. So based upon this condition, right, we have to increment the uh, duty cycle or decrement the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So here you can see that we are combining the output of a C MPPT and output of P and MPPT. So both will be duty cycle. So here we are going to combine this both duty cycle here by using this addition block. And then here we are taking the average of the duty cycle. Okay. So here we are making that hybrid option. So that means we are going to uh, that means we are making that uh, uh, combining that duty cycle of a C MPPT with the PO, PO MPPT and then here we are taking the average so here we are applying the hybrid option here okay and then you can see that uh, we have three manual switch right hybrid selection PO selection fussy selection so if suppose we are going to allow this hybrid between this duty cycle right then the switch position should be in the upper position right all manual switch position should be in the upper position okay so then it would be allow this duty cycle to the pedulum generator and then the pedulum generator generate the pulse for this IGB to control the boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV panel so this is one option hybrid option in the hybrid for CPO MVPT and another hybrid option is available in this model that means here we are using switch right uh, the switch coin be controlled then that means the switch coin be select the uh, fussy MPPT and the PO MPPT so based upon the change in power condition so here we can uh, here you can see that we are calculating the PV power and then here we are calculating the change in power so the change in power going to be compared with 0 0.1 right that means the change in power is greater than 0 0.1 so we are going to allow the PO MPPT if changing power is less than 0.1 then we are going to allow the fussy MVPT okay so if you want to select this hybrid option then you got to select the, the manual switch to the down position then uh, it will be processed via this selection switch and then is processed to the that means the signal is given to the pedulum generator to generate the pulse for the IGPT to extract the maximum power from the PV panel okay so there are two options in this system that means two hybrid option so here we are going to explain this hybrid option only right uh, because it will be provide the better result than this this hybrid option okay and also if suppose you want to operate the the same model with the PO MPPT then just you change this position right this position to down right this manual switch going to be uh, change the position from up position to down position then this model will be operated only in the PO MPPT algorithm if suppose you want to operate this um, system with only for MPPT and then you got to change the manual position that means manual switch position from up to down okay then this system will be operated only in the fussy MPPT algorithm okay so based upon the switch position you can switch over the uh, uh, MPPT algorithm from hybrid for CPO to IPO MPPT high for MPPT okay so just you go to select the manual switch accordingly okay so now I am going to uh, operate the system okay uh, that means uh, I am going to vary the irradiation of the uh, solar PV uh, from 1000 to 800, 600, 400 for every 0.2 seconds and then I am going to uh, touch the system okay so first I am going to take the result of hybrid uh, fussy PO MPPT algorithm okay so I am going to simulate this model So here this initially the uh, PO that mean maximum point will be reach around 0.5 seconds okay and also, and also you can see that the variation that mean during the variation of irradiation from 1000 watts per meter square 800 so it, it will um, uh, extract the maximum power very accurately okay. So now I am going to take the into figure to comparison so now I am going to operate the same model with the PO MPPT so here you can see that it will be take some time to reach the maximum point 
and also it have some oscillation more oscillation and uh, it have some transition effect during change in irradiation condition here also you can see that it have more transient and oscillation with py mbbt so here you can see that for low irradiation condition they have more transient so here also i'm going to take into figure and then i'm going to compare the So next I'm going to operate the same model with the first MPPT. So FASI also having a lot of transient during that change in irradiation condition. Okay. Next, I'm going to compare the results. Here, you can see that. Uh, so, this is the result of uh, the blue color is the result of a hybrid for CPU and BPT. So, it will reach the maximum point quickly, and also you can see that uh, the PU and BPT will take the long time to reach the maximum point, and also you can see that uh, uh, the in fussy MPPT output, right? So, it have some uh, more transition during that uh, initial state, but it will. Uh, uh, extract the maximum power quickly when, when compared to hybrid but it have more transition right so and also i am going to compare the result of the maximum points so here you can see that the blue color right so that mean blue color is the output of hybrid for cpo mbpt so it, it extract the maximum power uh, than the pu mbpt and the uh, Passy MBPT. Okay, so next you have to check the result during uh, variation of irradiation condition. So here we are going to compare. So here you can see that uh, uh, that when transition, right? Transition in the fuzzy is very fuzzy MBPT is very high, and also the oscillation in that PU MBPT also very high. But the hybrid will be having less transition, right? And also you have to check the the steady state point during that change in irradiation. So here also you can see that right uh, the fussy then hybrid fussy PYMPPT it extract the maximum power than the PO and the normal fussy MPPT algorithm. Okay. And also I'm going to lower radiation part here you can so here you can see that the PO normal fussy that mean uh, here this is PO so this is uh, for CMBPT, yeah. it is having high transition, but the hybrid for CPU and BPT is having low transition, right? And also you can see that steady state point. So hybrid for CPU and BPT extract the maximum power, then normal PO and BPT and for CMBPT. Okay, so this is the working of uh, hybrid. A CPU MBPT algorithm for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about hybrid. Pasti PSO MPPD for solar PV system. Thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on notification button for notification about upcoming videos. 
So let's start with hybrid for CPS or MBPD. So this is the model is developed in the MATLAB for hybrid PSO MBPD. So it consists of uh, solar PV and then a boost converter and then load and then it contain uh, PSO algorithm and then fuzzy algorithm so here that uh, that uh, based upon the change in power so here we are measuring the power and then here we calculate the change in power so based upon the change in power the switching will be happen in between ps2 and fuzzy so here we are going to hybrid in, hybrid the, the fuzzy mbpt with the ps mbpt in order to extract the maximum power from this solar pv panel so here you can see that so this is the model we are used here that mean we are used this uh, 200 watts pv panel and then the open circuit for this panel is around 32.9 volt and voltage at maximum power point is around 26.3 and then the short circuit current of the panel is 8.21 and then current at maximum power point is around 0.61 and also here i am going to draw the pv and iv characteristics of the, the computer panel so i'm going to fix the irradiation is 400, 600, 800, and then 1000 watts per meter square, and then I am going to check the power level. So when the irradiation is equal to 400 watts per meter square, the power, the maximum power is around 81.16 watts. So for 600 watts per meter square, the maximum power is 121.8. For 800 watts per meter square, the maximum power is 161.5. For uh, 1000 watts per meter square, the maximum power is around 200.1. Okay. So we need to extract that maximum power from the PV panel so by means of uh, MBPT algorithm. So the goal of MBPT, so we need to extract the maximum power from that PV panel. So based upon that condition, environmental condition like uh, for a particular irradiation level or particular temperature level of the solar PV cell so we need to extract the, the exact maximum point from the PV panel so when you extract the maximum power then we can replace the, the maximum power from the PV panel to the load okay so in order to extract the maximum power so here, here we have uh, the boost converter in between solar PV array and then load. Okay, so the boost converter going to be adjust the output voltage and current. So in order to extract the maximum power power from the PV panel. So based upon the the duty cycle generated by means of this MBPT algorithm. Okay, so here we need to measure the PV in detail, right? So here we have to measure the PV detail and then we have to measure PV voltage and current. So by using uh, that uh, voltage and current you have to calculate the power. Okay. So here you can see that here we are calculating the power here by means of uh, PV voltage and the PV current. Okay. So if this uh, detects change will be used to for so whenever that uh, uh, any changes in the irradiation so what will be happen that the power of the PV panel will be, will be changed the power and the current of the PV panel so that should be detected by means of that uh, some algorithm so for that only we use this detect change algorithm so based upon the changes in the PV panel so we need to reset the, the PSO algorithm right so what happened initially it will be for example the PV panel operate in some operate, operating condition like 1000 watts per meter square 20 degrees Celsius. So after some time it changed to 800 watts per meter square. So, 
So what will be happen when we change three eight hundred watt meter square? So what uh, we need to change, right? We need to change the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power during that particular condition, eight hundred watt meter square. So for that you need to reset the PS algorithm. So in order to reset the PS algorithm, we need to use this reduction change based upon the PV power and the current of the PV plan. Okay. So automatically it will be reset the PS algorithm and then, and then the PS will be uh, adjust the duty cycle in order to extract the maximum power. And also here we can uh, you can see that uh, uh, we use that for CMBPT. Okay, uh, here we need to measure the PV voltage and then the PV voltage is going to be processed via that means it's compared with the maximum power point voltage. So from that we have error and then we have change of error. So error change of error will be input for the fuzzy logic control. This fuzzy logic will be generated the duty cycle for the uh, next stage. Okay. So PS2 as well as and fuzzy going to be generated the duty cycle. So here we need to combine this to algorithm concept fuzzy and PSO, right? So for that we, are, we here we are using that uh, condition, right? Switch condition, right? So be, based upon the change in power. So here you, you can see that we are measuring that power and then I'm going to delay the power and then I'm calculating here is change in power. So based upon change in power, right? Here we provide some condition for switching, right? So based upon the ch change in power, we have to decide whether we have to use for C or PSO, right? So, so based upon the condition is fixed in this switch case, right? The duty cycle will be taken from the PSO or C logic. Okay. So and then it will be processed by a PWM generator. So this PWM generator is going to be generated the pulse for that boost converter. So boost converter is going to be adjust the output voltage and current as well as PV voltage and current in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel. So this is the working of this model and here you can see that we are measuring uh, uh, the detail of load, uh, load voltage, load current and uh, load power. Okay. And also here we are measuring that uh, PV voltage, PV current, PV power. So let we, we, let we compare the result for different irradiation condition. So, so here uh, already simulate the model right the model will be take some time to simulate uh, okay so i simulate this model so here you can see that every 0.2 seconds uh, i am going to vary the irradiation from 400 600 800 and the 1000 okay so every 0.2 seconds the irradiation will be changed and current corresponding result going to be measured and uh, we are going to discuss now right so this is the result we are obtained from that solar PV and load okay so here you can see that that uh, the PV voltage right the PV voltage is uh, is maintained around 26 volt right because you can see that uh, for different cases right I'm going to open this uh, IV PV cat 6 here you can see that the voltage of See, so voltage will be 26.51 so for a 400 watt per watts per meter square for 600 is around 26.8 here for 800 is 26.45 for 1000 is around 26.3 okay the voltage will be is in, in, in and around 26.2 to 26.6 okay so here you can see that right and the PV voltage right here you can see that oh sorry so this is pv measurement so this is load measurement okay so here you can see that the, the pv measure pv voltage right the pv voltage i uh, take the average right the PV voltage maintained around 26 volt or 26.4 uh, volt, right? So, uh, for 
for changing radii condition that means here the irradiation will be changed for every 0.2 seconds from 400, 600, 800, 1000 right for different irradiation condition here you can see that the PV voltage is maintained at the constant around 26, around 26 point to uh, 26.6 volt right so it will be maintained in between these limits okay and also you can check the, the load voltage right so what will be happen right here so because of change in irradiation here you can see that the load voltage will be very okay because this system, system is operating at the standalone concept right so what will what is happen in this model right so MVPD is going to adjust the duty cycle in order to maintain that uh, PV voltage around 26 point uh, to 26.6 volt right so when you have to maintain the volt, uh, voltage is in between 26.2 to 26.6 volt right what happened we can uh, we can accept the maximum power from the solar peak so this is that is a concept in the and this MVPD algorithm for the solar PV system and also you can see that for every a change in irradiation condition the current of the PV panel also will be changed okay so that is also you can check in the PV cat 6 PV and IV cat 6 also so here you can check that one for you can see that for for for, for different condition of irradiation you can see that the current also going to be changed right so I'm going to fix some value here so it's around 3 uh, 3 amps so this is around 4.6 amps so this is around 6 amps so this is around 7 amps right so you can see that right for different irradiation condition also you can see that it's maintained around 3 amps it, it maintained around 4.5 amps so it, it maintained at 4 or 6 point, 6 point something 6.2 amps right here you can see that it maintained around 7, 7 or 7.2 7 uh, amps right so for different irradiation it also the current also meet in at the, the peak point current level right so here you can see that the power level uh, i'm going to use this and um, i'm going to analyze the things so here you can see that i'm going to measure the pv power so here you can see the pv power is around 78 right 78 78.21 watts that actual theoretical value is around 81 right uh, and then i'm going to change the point so here you can see that the pv power is around uh, 120 watts right actual will be 128.8 something right and then you can i'm going to move this point here right here you can see that the maximum power around is 161.1 the theoretical value is around 161.8 watts right and i'm going to change the point here the, the the maximum point is around 200 watts here we are getting 190 watts from the pv panel so so we are extracting the maximum power from the pv panel okay uh, by means of this hybrid for cpso mbpt algorithm and also you can see that the efficiency of the system right so here I am measuring that uh, uh, load power and then PV power and then I am cal calculating the efficiency. The efficiency of the systems around 98.41 percentage for a particular uh, system. Okay. So this is the working of this uh, hybrid for CPS MBPT for the solar PV system. So thanks for watching our videos. So kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon and turn on the notification button for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye